Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness and wild about. Deep in the heart of the wild, in the snow, in the dark, in the ancient woods, in the cold high mountains, in the deserts and grasslands, a hunter is out there, stalking his prey. No beast so fierce, so admired, so feared. A symbol for the wilderness itself. Its descendants, an emblem for man's everlasting will to conquer. itself refers to a variety of loosely related species of canines, or dog-like predatory mammals, including the Egyptian wolf, more known as the Egyptian jackal, the Ethiopian wolf, also known as the red jackal, the mountain wolf, better known as the dole, or Indian wild dog, the gold wolf, or golden jackal, with 12 subspecies, the reed wolf, or European jackal, the prairie wolf, or coyote, with 19 subspecies, the red wolf, formerly considered a subspecies of the common wolf, the painted wolf, or African wild dog, a distant relation to the others, the maned wolf, closer in relation to foxes, and the species Canis lupus, considered the common or true wolves, including 25 living subspecies, from the dingo to the most infamous Eurasian wolf or gray wolf. To the common dog, bred and domesticated from wolves by early man 30,000 years ago. Wolves have been found to be able to crossbreed significantly, with many interspecies wolf hybrids, like koi wolves and wolf dogs found worldwide. Though this is a relatively rare occurrence due to most wolf breeds forming tight-knit social groups with low tolerance for outsiders, most wolves are closest in relation to true jackals, such as the side-striped jackal and the black-backed jackal. But the terms coyote and jackal are used in place of wolf for smaller members of the genus. The evolution of wolves began 35 million years ago, evolving from primitive caniforms or dog like carnivorous mammals, their family of Canidae, then dividing into two tribes, Vulpini being all canines related to foxes, and Canini being all canines related to wolves in many environments becoming the apex predator, alongside the great cats of the tropics, later diversifying into hundreds of species, including the famed dire wolf, which was the size of a gray wolf with a much heavier build, believed to have been attacking prehistoric humans until a mere 10,000 years ago. Wolves can be found worldwide except Antarctica, in environments as diverse as sand and rock deserts and dry plains, snowy mountains, deep dark woodlands, tropical jungles, grasslands and savannas, ice-covered tundra, and the barren arctic itself, with the gray wolf having the largest range, found throughout large portions of Asia, northeastern Europe, northern US, and Canada. 
in smaller populations present in southwestern USA, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, the Balkans, and the Arabian Peninsula. Wolves vary greatly in size. From the smallest jackal being less than two feet in length, the largest being the gray wolf at well over five feet. Wolves are primarily ferocious predators, often with higher success rates than any other large predators, with the African wild dog succeeding in hunting three times as often as lions, feeding mainly on large ungulates or hooved animals, such as deer, moose, and elk, boar, and cattle. Occasionally smaller animals such as rats, cats, and hares even other wolves and dogs, or even humans. All wolves have long legs and lithe bodies, specifically adapted for hunting and chasing prey at high speeds large upright ears to detect the direction of any sound, and elongated snouts for reaching into their prey. Their bodies are covered in a protective, often patterned coat of fur of varying length, which can differ in color between subspecies or even between individuals. Most commonly gray, white, brown, yellow, or red with black markings, with some such as the gray wolf exhibiting color differences between seasonal coats. Wolves in temperate areas often molt. A short period of extensive shedding revealing a new, different coat emerging underneath to better regulate body temperature. The dense winter coat of gray wolves thick enough to keep the wolf warm and comfortable at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius as they bury their nose between their legs and cover their face with their thick, bushy tail. Additionally, most wolves have thick manes or crests that signify their maturity. Wolves are further distinguished from other canines by their large size, wide frame, and broader snout than that of foxes, with proportionally large teeth, particularly long canine teeth, filling the larger oral cavity, intended to tear through flesh and bone with ease. All wolves have a particularly well-developed sense of smell able to pick up the scent of their prey for miles away when directly in downwind, tracking them for hours, sometimes days, particularly susceptible to the scent of blood and bodily excretions, with the old adage of being able to smell the fear of their prey not being far from the truth, often reacting to subtle changes in perspiration and pheromones to pick out the weaker individuals in larger groups. Wolves also exhibit large outer ears, reflecting their superior sense of hearing. Most wolves can react to ultrasonic frequencies so high they are inaudible to most humans or even other animals, allowing wolves to hear the high-pitched sounds of smaller prey, such as rodents, even from great distance, up to 10 times the maximum distance of human hearing, also able to hear the heartbeat of other nearby animals. The eyesight of wolves is, however, typically inferior with red-green color blindness, as they only exhibit two color receptors in their eyes, as opposed to the three found in humans. They are, however, extraordinarily adept at detecting motion by eyesight and identifying animals from afar. They have a very wide field of vision, with some breeds exceeding 270 degrees of vision, with additionally superior night vision, as many wolves are crepuscular or nocturnal hunters, resting during the day emerging in late afternoon to hunt, under the cover of darkness. Highly social animals, most wolves also hunt in large or medium-sized groups, known as packs, with only younger males being solitary in the nature, and only the Egyptian jackal and the maned wolf being consistently solitary regardless of age. Wolf packs commonly consist of closely related individuals. Female wolves are often born and raised within the pack, seldom seen leaving it. The males either born in the pack or adopted later as juveniles to ensure genetic diversity and discourage inbreeding. 
while this relationship is inversed among African wild dogs, with the males staying in their birth pack and females leaving to find new ones. With some species, like doles, living in much larger communities, only separating into their own packs when hunting. Most wolves sustain complex social structures based on strict hierarchies of dominance, led by a single alpha male or female, followed by several betas, with African wild dogs having separate hierarchies for male and female. The alpha is in charge of all navigation and migration, as well as peacekeeping within the pack, relying on a wide variety of calls, howls, yelps, and growls for both threat displays and other social interactions to diffuse conflicts. Howling notably used to gather or locate the pack or to call an alarm, the length and tone of the howl indicating the different calls, with the howl of a grey wolf being able to be heard across an area of up to 50 square miles, as well as significant body language, their stance reflecting submission or aggression, with particularly the height of the head and tail indicating the difference, lips contracting or retracting, bearing or covering teeth to show different emotions. Tongues out as a sign of submission, or playfulness, or licking tension. Their hair is erecting when angry, arching their backs to appear larger. Ears erect and forward when aggressive, flattened and turned to the side in fear. All species of wolves use some form of grooming as a social display, strengthening social bonds. Particularly present among closely related individuals such as mates and parent cub relations. Play fighting often occurring, particularly among younger individuals, only in rare cases escalating to violent conflict, as the strict hierarchy limits any challenge of dominance until the alpha is significantly weakened or dead, at which point the next of kin, or the next most dominant beta takes their place, only in rare cases leading to disputes and power struggles, as even after the death of their leadership, the strict hierarchies are respected and followed. The hunt of wolves is typically divided into five stages. Locating the prey can occur through either chance encounters or tracking. Most wolves initializing their hunts by traveling until finding a scent, at which point they stand alert, aiming all their senses towards the source of the scent, alerting others in the pack of the direction of their prey. They then stalk their target quickening their pace gradually as they approach the source of the scent, heads low, peering intently, approaching quietly as not to alert their prey. In the case of herd animals, the target is separated from the group. Once the encounter occurs and the prey detects the wolves, the prey either chooses to flee or stand their ground at which point the wolves try to intimidate their prey to flee as they require the stimulus of a running animal to be able to attack. The rush occurs when the prey first decides to flee. The most critical stage of the hunt, the wolves need to immediately give chase or intercept to prevent their prey outrunning them. As many of their natural targets are often fast-moving mammals, this is then followed by the chase. The wolves attempting to either catch up to the target or drive it until it tires. The chase can go on for miles. Many wolves observe to drive their prey into precipices, ravines, and steep banks to slow their prey down. The kill itself is made by bleeding out their prey by biting the soft perineum area at the root, seen with the larger prey of grey wolves. Or by a single bite to the throat and neck, seen with most smaller wolves or smaller prey. While African wild dogs need a reputation for their perceived cruelty for instead attempting to disembowel their prey while they're still alive. All wolves have also been found to be opportunistic, taking part in any 
other prey already fallen from disease or other predators. Though due to the social pack nature of most wolves, scavenging is often not enough to sustain the population, and is only used as a supplement to active hunting. When eating, the alpha male or female is prioritized. Often at the expense of other members in the pack. While among African wild dogs, the betas are the ones to hunt. Bringing home food to the alpha and pups. Females are typically slightly shorter, with thinner necks and smaller shoulders and narrower muzzles. Mating among wolves commonly occurs once or twice a year though some wolves are fertile throughout the year. Mating is usually preceded by courtship that in some species, such as the golden jackal, takes up to a month, during which time the female is followed by a single or multiple males vying for her attention, sometimes even bringing her food, after which the female chooses her mate, with most wolves forming largely monogamous pairs for the mating season. Some, such as the gray wolf and the coyote, often forming lifelong pairs. With only transient gray wolf males mating with several younger females. A divergent behavior making them known as Casanova wolves. The relationship the alpha has with a mate makes them often officially known as the breeding pair. Other sexually mature individuals are often instead repressed until the death of their alpha or his or her mate. The mating act itself can take anywhere between a few minutes to an hour and is repeated for several days or weeks until conception occurs, with pregnancies lasting no more than two to three months, during which the wolf digs out a sheltered den or reappropriates the den of another animal. Wolf litters vary considerably in size, most having an average of four to six pups in a single litter with the maned wolf having as few as two to four pups, up to 19 pups for African wild dogs, born blind and deaf. Wolf pups are first able to see after a week or two, able to walk shortly thereafter. They are then nursed for a period of one to four months, the mother typically staying in the den the entire time. The pups' weight increasing dramatically, often quadrupling during this period. And they already begin play fighting at this time. Grey wolf pups eventually able to accompany their parents on hunts. Though the pups are only able to hunt for themselves after nearly a year. Instead relying on both their parents to bring home food. Between one to two years, the wolf reaches maturity. And begins to seek both leadership and a mate. Due to their reputation as highly efficient and fearsome hunters, wolves have long been used as symbols for fierceness, warfare, and warrior spirit. Equally revered and feared by Native American tribes, believing the wolf to be a sacred animal and often an omen of things to come. Many Anglo-Saxon kings and warriors also took on the word wolf itself as a prefix or suffix to their name to show their bravery and might with tales of infamous leaders being raised or adopted by wolves as a sign of their strength, such as the story of Romulus and Remus, the mythical founders of Rome. Once ordered to be killed as infants, they were released into the river Tiber, carried to a she-wolf, nursed them into adulthood. This common identification of warrior man and wolf later gave rise to the concept of lycanthropy, werewolves, being human by day, wolf or wolf men by night. Common myth perpetuated by fantasy literature and filmmaking. Wolves themselves are also an extremely common feature as the antagonist to mythology, folklore, and fairy tales, becoming a generic archetype known worldwide as a sign of evil, such as the big bad wolf attempting to prey on Little Red Riding Hood, or Fenrir of Norse mythology, a great mythical wolf bound by Odin 
destined to grow out of the shackles and consume them, bringing about the apocalypse. Depicted throughout the Bible as a symbol for greed and destruction, reflecting the pastoral culture of biblical Israel, where wolves were the main threat against cattle and sheep. Rarely seen as anything but powerful, even more positive portrayals of wolves emphasize their danger and wildness, being the subject of many adventure novels. Made infamous for a new generation by authors such as Jack London, romanticizing the wild through its depiction of wolf packs and lone wolves. By contrast, human interaction with wolves has historically been that of domestication and conquering the enemy, wolves being the most well-documented animal in history, with the first wolves domesticated by modern man during the Stone Age, used to aid in their hunts, depicted in cave paintings and Stone Age art, running alongside early man, eventually developing into the modern domestic dog, through selective breeding to form the great diversity of modern dog breeds with modern dogs having over 340 recognized breeds, adapted for every conceivable purpose, from seeing eye dogs to hunting dogs. Sizes vary considerably from the smallest breed, the Chihuahua, able to fit in a drinking glass, to the Great Dane standing up to 44 inches tall, compared to the 30 to 35 inches of the average gray wolf. Many purely aesthetic adaptations, occasionally leading to health concerns for the different breeds because of their close kinship. Dogs have been known to breed with wolves, giving birth to wolf dogs. An unusual but often highly appreciated pet, as they are highly loyal and quiet. Many wolves today are either endangered or threatened. Many species and subspecies are already extinct, such as the Tasmanian wolf which despite being entirely unrelated to other wolves, inhabited the same ecological niche in Australia, with the Ethiopian wolf having the smallest surviving population in the wild of mere hundreds of individuals, almost entirely due to human intervention, such as loss of habitat, and competition with humans for livestock, as well as extensive hunting, as wolves are often perceived as a threat or menace to common hunting targets such as deer and deer. Wolf hides also considered highly valuable for their warmth and smooth texture, particularly among females, childbearing or lactating. Their meat also sold for consumption. Illegal poaching remains common when most governments have either banned hunting of certain wolves entirely or enforced strict seasonal hunting regulations to maintain the population. The gray wolf being the most common target, often seen as the ultimate hunting trophy, thanks to their reputation as ferocious and dangerous man-eaters. Despite the fact that the few documented cases of wolves attacking humans have often involved starved or otherwise provoked wolves, with populations steadily decreasing for decades, prompting forced reintroduction of wolves into areas where the population has disappeared entirely. Conservationists worldwide are struggling to keep the wolf alive and well. Though for some it may be too late, until then, they remain out there, in the wild, in the snow-covered mountains, in barren tundra, in the deep dark woods of legend, as one of the last wild predators on Earth.